Reina Condos, Toronto's first all-female development. Myth, good, or gimmick? Let's find out. All right, friends, this is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Realtor, downtown, everywhere. And today, I cannot ignore all the streams coming at me. There's Toronto's first all-female development. It's called Reina Condos, and guess what? It sits right where a strip joint used to sit. How poetic, right? So let's take a look at Reina Condos. <laughs> all right. First things first, this is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Realtor with Search Realty. Fantastic company, uh, one of Canada's top 500 companies. I think the only real estate brokerage too. Uh, much thanks to my friend Sterling Wong who runs this ship like nobody's business. Perfect captain. Okay, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. This is where you're going to find all this stuff that i like to bring you. Okay, so there you go right here. Great hole for sale, 17.1 million and so on. All the good stuff coming in here. Uh, this is Yorkville Luxury Real Estate.com, over a million. So I just posted this. There's 27 listings here, real live listings. You can click on any link and see over a million. Urban Toronto Realty.com. Uh, this is probably where this video is going to end up with a bit of a, a write up. And this is where I post my downtown Toronto stuff, new developments, pre construction assignments. And I want to jump right in uh, to this thing I saw about Reina Condos. Meet the queens behind Toronto's first all-female real estate development team. The group wants to showcase the talented women working in the industry. Okay, so what's the deal here? We have a condo development, and the condo development team is all women. Good or bad, myth, fiction, or gimmick? You tell me. No, I tell you. <laughs> so, this is going to be politically incorrect. I'm going to tell you what's on my mind. You like it, great. You don't like it, even better, because I hope you're going to put some comments, likes, and I expect a lot of dislikes on this on this post, which is totally fine. Uh, if any of the Reina Condos uh, wonderful ladies showcased here would like to comment, please do, or call me, or get on this uh, vlog, video log, blog, and uh, come on for some tough questions, because I got no gloves. You know, come on in. But let's review this and see what the deal is all about. So the story goes like this. Uh, there's a group of ladies who come from development background, especially uh, these two lovely ladies here. Um, Taya Cook, Taya, Taya, and Sherry Laryani, Larjani teamed up to create the city's first all-female development team. We're going to look in a minute if it's really an all-female development team, aiming to showcase the talents of women in the industry. That's good. So... It's about approximately 15 women. I don't know why it's approximately. And they're working on a residential project in Tobico, Dub Reina, which means queen in Spanish. I actually opened up the, uh, that's why I was saying Reina, because I got the Spanish uh, dictionary here, and it means a queen. Queen. Uh, Reina. 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 Thank you. Okay. So that's where it is. I, I wasn't sure, like, what, what was the name all about. That's, all, that's totally cool. Um, would you like to live in a condo that was designed by women? Would you like to purchase a condo that is all the development team is apparently all women? And more importantly, as an investor, does it make any difference? Do I care who the developer is? I mean, they're tall, they're short, they're this color, they're that color, they're female, they're not female, they're binary, non-binary, you know. Today, there's endless variation on the theme of people, colors, preferences, uh, food, diets. Like, everything's okay these days. So does it actually make any sense uh, to brand yourself all female in 2019? Does it make any sense? I mean, straight is okay, gay is okay, this is okay, that is okay. Everything's okay. So do I need to, to do this? I don't know. To me, it's an, and I told you I'm going to piss you off. To, what in, what's important to me is the developer is value. And what is value? Like I said before, it's my ability to, to make good on my investment, is my ability to enjoy my space, is my ability, or if I live there, or my tenant's ability to, to, to have a great, fantastic life. Uh, it's amenities that actually make sense, floor plans that make sense, not that long in there with the kitchen on the side where you got to sit there, you know, Eat your sandwich at night and look over your kitchen. That's not good. Okay, so that the things that I look for first. Now, will this all-female development team make any difference? Would it make any difference? Would it make any difference to me as an investor? Personally, no. I don't really care 
who you are. You can be an alien from Mars. It's all good as long as your product is good, that I see what your work is, that it makes sense to me, that it makes sense to my investors, that it make, that the floor plan makes sense, that the comfort of living makes sense, that it's a good investment, okay? That's what I look for first thing. And, you know, I don't discriminate. So male, female, not male, not female, doesn't matter to me, okay? But it is interesting. What would a female come up uh, with that a man wouldn't? Okay, that makes that, that that's I think is a fair question. So um, and 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 it's quite poetic that it comes on top of that what used to be the gentleman's club. This is actually I I love this. Okay, that's very very funny. Uh, this is from Urban Toronto. So this is a render of Royal Q Towns image via submission to the City of Toronto. So. Um, Looks like this is an older article, and this is probably not going to be what Reina Condos is going to be. Uh, maybe they're keeping the design and they bought the site off whoever had it before, um, or maybe they're doing something completely new. I don't know. I've not seen any renders beside this one. And I got to tell you, from a marketing perspective, and don't forget, I'm a, I'm a media grad. I did my MBA, and I love marketing, and that's all I think about. Um, you're doing such a big launch, my friends, my lady friends, and there's no render. Uh, there's nothing about the building itself. There's nothing about why you should buy here. Absolutely nothing besides the fact that it's an all-female development team. But really, it's not even an all-female development team because, you know, they all work at companies um, that have men in them. It's not like really like pure female. And, and obviously... 99.9999999 of the constructions worker will be men because, you know, that, that's how it is. There are some females in the business, of course, but, you know, not in the thousands. Computer is falling apart. Some uh, glue here. So, you know, it's, it's, it, to me, it's a bit of a gimmick because it doesn't really say to me um, what's so special that the gender is important, okay? I want to see what smarts you have. I want to see what skills you have. You know, to me, just tell me, hey, we are experienced people. You know, the fact that we're females, maybe we're all mothers, and, you know, so family is important to us, so we want to design space that fits your lifestyle. I mean, is it really a thing that, you know, like what can be in a condo, in a typical average 500 square foot condo done for uh, a lady and a, a man, okay? You work downtown. Everybody's working their 12 or 16 hour days. You know, you come home, you basically crash. Most of these condos are crash pads, okay? Now, if you have a family, then you need a good two bedroom, two bathroom design, or maybe a smaller one, that the space will be efficient. That's true to men and women. Now, yes, women tend to have maybe more clothes or more shoes, so you want like proper storage space, but that would make any, there's any place better. But, you know, I didn't really see it in the marketing. I scanned it pretty quick. As if I would, if I were just someone just like browsing around looking for new ideas. So, you know, I would invest or look positively of investing in any development if it made sense. So, if we are all female developers and we really care about uh, things that are important to females, then fantastic. But put it out there. Also, what I think I would have done if I were the chief marketing officer or consulting on this project is I would have come with. Um, a clear concept besides the headlines, which is it's all female. So how is this better? Why is the idea of having 15 women is better? Uh, is it really an all female development where they work in, in the, the um, development companies, uh, two are mentioned, uh, have males in them? Okay, so it's not really a pure all female. The team may be all female. Um, and it says development team, which is, you know, it, it, it's not a lie. But to me, it's, I, I, I don't know what, what's going on here, okay? We live in a really large world where everyone's a part of everything and it's all mixed up. So I'm more of an inclusive kind of person. You know, I like everyone together. I like world peace for everyone. I like everyone to be happy. I like all the families to be well and secure. I like everyone else to be all good. I have my reservations that it's more of a gimmick than a real thing because if it was not a gimmick and real thing, show me the benefits and show me why it's so important that all female team is here. Now, obviously, you know, some of you, if you're still watching this way, you 
blood's boiling. You know, we're never gonna buy from the CLC guy again. That's okay. But I'm not against or for you know all all female or all male or all margin team. It doesn't matter to me. I'm an investor. I just want to look for the best investment possible. Can you deliver? If you deliver, yes, I come there, I recommend it. Maybe I buy one or two for myself. Okay. Um, I've done some research and I want to share you uh, share with you this. So I typed in uh, 689 the Queensway and there's literally nothing coming up. Okay, uh, there's some your typical um, real estate sites from uh, from uh, an agent. Buzzbuzz has zero information besides like a placeholder. Um, this article is from 2017, so that's what we've seen before. Royal Q that's before. There's absolutely no recent information here. Okay. So before you launch a project, dear developers, male or female, it doesn't matter, um, make sure that before you make your big blitz, people are going to search for you on Google or on DuckDuckGo. That, by the way, I'm searching Google through Firefox, through a VPN. So if you know what I'm saying, like I'm, I'm, I'm two degrees away from Google, so hopefully it cannot put it, its hand and eyes and ears inside my pants kind of thing, okay? Because Google and everyone, like, you get you get this right. So back to six eighty on the Queensway. Uh, there's no information. Now, if I were to do a big media blitz, and you can see this thing is coming everywhere. I mean, you can. This is condos.ca. Update, update, update. Okay. So here's the same picture of the two ladies. They look pretty serious. I, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't say no to them. Okay. Uh, and there's some uh, recognition for women and all the good stuff and all the ladies coming from and that's great They really assembled um, A bunch of talent from the various companies say now we're gonna do all female talent. Okay, that's fine I mean it, To me, it's not a big deal. Okay, but if you are to use it for marketing then Capture this. Okay, there's nothing going on. I mean if you search for the Reina condo, you can barely find it because it comes low on the search results too. Uh, so here's the Google Reina condo search through DuckDuckGo, through the VPN. So basically, it, it, I'm not signed in. It doesn't know it's me. It, it Google does not know it's EOC, does not know it's about real estate. It's blank. It's, it's, a, it's a new user to Google to try and get the most optimal results. So if you're a developer and you're looking to help with some how to promote my project online, give me a call because this is something I'm very good at, okay? Reina Condo does not show on a map, does not show, maybe it shows below, but it doesn't show, so you need to do some Google Map SEO here, okay? I'll help you with that. And finally we get here, this is the article, Ren X, never heard of this uh, magazine, but it's, uh, it's uh, someone from Ottawa, uh, and that's good, and then basically all, um, quote the same information so there's a CBC here and there's a star and here is Reina and look what it says background.jpg these are the first the first word the two words and then it says retina logo underscore white dot jpeg then it says condominiums designed by women dot there's not even barely a complete sentence developed by women dot built for everyone dot learn more okay this thing my friends you need to optimize. You need to optimize your site title. You need to optimize your SEO. You need to optimize everything has to do with the site because I guarantee that if you look at the stats for your website, you saw a spike when these news media came out, but you're not capturing anything, okay? It should say Reina Condo 689, uh, the Queensway, and then below in the text, it should say what we're talking about. So if we talk about Toronto's first all-female all uh, uh, design development uh, star team, put it in there. Okay, this is an oversight uh, on behalf of the development, not the site, the, the website development, not the condo site development. But when you develop, you got to develop. If you're going to develop the condo, pay attention to the littlest, littlest detail. And that's not a little detail because when people search for you, that's what they see. And you don't even show on the top and you don't show on the map. Okay, so first of all, like, give me that stuff. And if you don't know how to do it, give me a call. You know, I've provided a lot of technical services. My background is in technical. I do very good uh, videos, posts, SEO. That's why I do it. You know, all my clients are organic. I, I don't do advertising. It's all organic because I, 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 my posts are good. I'm not the only one in town, obviously, but this is something to look at, into, okay? And it's very, very important. You got to do this today. The moment you're here, 
you see this video or somebody forwards you this video and you're one of the 15 on the team, make sure this is done. So next time they refresh the page, Reina Condos come up on the list and it's got some, it's got the most important thing right at the top and not background.jpg. All right, so there's, there's not enough information here. So if you're a developer, because you know guys, I work with developers. I work with them behind the scenes. I work with them in the sales center. I started my career by three years working at sales centers every weekend. I didn't take any break. I didn't take anything. I just sat at the sales center and learned how it's done and did it. And, and that's how it started, okay? So the top story is showing from the CBC because you know it's the site with the highest ranking. Uh, so that's okay, but once you click on that or you do the search, and it doesn't even say the word Reina Condos, which to me is a missed branding opportunity, okay? You miss the opportunity to brand with the CBC. Now, obviously, the CBC does what they want, blah, blah, blah. But maybe Reina Condo is the first Toronto condo built by all the de uh, female development team, okay? Put that name in there. If that's, your, if, if that's your brand, that's your brand. After a while, people will forget, you know, you're going to finish the building. Who's going to remember it was an all-female team? What's going to left behind is your legacy. And that's what's important. And it starts at the launch. Okay, so when you search for Raina Condos on um, DuckDuckGo, and again, I'm, I'm logged out here, it's all good. It doesn't come with the main site for Raina Condos, it's coming with team Raina. And now it basically talks, there is some information here, okay? Bringing new perspective to Toronto's real estate market. Spearheaded by da 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 da, managing partner, the team will bring a new vision to emerging family friendly. It doesn't say anything. It says new perspective. It says emerging family. It doesn't say anything. New vision. What is your new vision? Give it to me right at the beginning, right at the front. Catch my attention. There's a lot of words, but they don't mean anything. Okay, so, and, and you know, the, and I'm going to do more of these development sites, either website or construction site reviews, because I think that it's very, very important, especially now when the price is so high for condos, and, and, you know, there's nothing under half a million dollars that developers really cross the I's and dot all the T's to make sure everything is good. And it's not only on the website, it's everywhere. And the most important thing, like I've said a million times before, and I'll keep saying it until that my last day, is the design of the unit itself. Because that's a place you need to live in, you need to eat, you need to sleep, you live your life in that space. I'm very, very lucky that I have this space here, which is so perfect. But it's really hard to find these places, okay? There's maybe 10% of every uh, unit design in the building is really good, and the rest are not that good. And 10% of 10%, 1% is as good as mine, okay? So lucky here. And once again, just to show you what comes up, you know, it's a lot of general stuff. It's generic. It needs to be, you know, before you come up with your big thing, plant your seeds. Make sure Google knows about it. There's a way to teach Google. I know how to do it. It's a way to teach Google, say, you know, if you see this, go over there. This is what's important. These are the articles that connect. You can teach Google and DuckDuckGo and all of them what to do and how to do it, where to crawl and not to crawl, what to show and, and the search results, okay? It doesn't say Raina Condos. It doesn't say the address, okay? Not good. Look, developers, everything was okay when the price go up. You can do whatever you want. That's okay. I'm not saying... The job's fine. Toronto construction quality is probably the best in the world. Uh, we're very, very lucky to be here. We're grateful and thankful to be able to be here right now. Okay, that's where we start. Uh, but beyond that, we gotta make it better every day, every project, every year, every iteration. We gotta make it better, and it's better for the people who are gonna buy from you, better for your investors, and better for the people who are gonna live in the units. Okay. So uh, this is Spotlight Development. That's where the lady uh, from the picture sa says uh, she's from here. Uh, Larjani, Larjani, uh, Larjani here. Okay, so exquisitely designed homes and living spaces. It doesn't really say anything. None of this thing is clickable. It's coming soon. Uh, here it says 689 the Queensway, but it's not actually using the word Reina. It's using it here. 
There's a disconnect. This is not this is this is an image, okay? So you can't even select it. There's a disconnect on the brand here. The brand is broken. There's no brand. Is a 689 is a Reina. If it's by a female, why is it so important? What you know condominium designed by women, developed by women, built for everyone. What does it mean? It, to me, it doesn't mean much. Okay? If you tell me it's like it's like if you just had a baby and there is like some things that are really good for a lady that just had the baby, great. Or whatever it is, you know, maybe a bidet. I don't know. Anything that would make sense, put it in. This website here doesn't have a lot of information. Uh, when you click on the about, it comes with more text. Uh, the name of the person said to be part of this organization is not here. And not is there her photo. That's a problem to me because I don't know who Spotlight Development Inc. is. Um, I don't know what they do. I don't know if it's they or them. I don't have no information about this right now. Okay, the first thing, showcase me. And if uh, if uh, the person that is quoted in the, in the media, uh, Miss Larjani, Lar Sherry, Sherry Larjani or Larjani, Spotlight Development. Maybe it's a company, maybe not. I, I don't know. Okay, so Sherry, who are you? I don't know. Okay, you're like there's there's suddenly one day everything came up, all these you know news came up, and it's more or less the same article over and over again. But I don't know you. Now Taya Cook, I don't know you either, but I know uh, I know Urban Capital. Urban Capital is a phenomenal company, okay, and I know some of the people that work there, and I love Urban Capital because you know I've made investments with Urban Capital and follow them from the very very beginning, and I can tell you they're good guys. And the term guys, but it's a good company, okay? So that's good. But had I, I'm not gonna go through that. Uh, you get, in, you get in the point. Basically, you gotta Google every single name here, just or Dr. Go every single name here, and see what comes up. And especially because you you present yourself as an all female team, people want to know who are you. I mean, you're creating all this excitement, but then there's nothing to go for. On, all right. So that's my point. I think I made it. Um, get in the map, update your information, and really use uh, this momentum that you created before it dies, before people forget about you, just because tomorrow there's going to be another thing and another thing. And I mean, that's the job of the media is to is to capture your attention over and over again. Okay, and and the the, the Toronto Star is only good for today. It needs to sell another paper tomorrow, another membership to the website. Uh, more clicks because if so, so they always have to impress you and like you know wow you with something and of course the Toronto Star who's reading the Toronto Star anyways I mean I, I haven't bought the Toronto Star in years you know I used to buy it a long time ago when I was teaching myself English I used to use the Toronto Star to see if I can read it uh, but I don't anymore maybe I look online uh, there's Brandon uh, also got a nice article here from uh, Junction House that's cool. Uh, learn more. That's the website. And here's the picture again, exact same picture over and over again. New perspective, we know this. And that's it. To me, that's a big miss, okay? That's, that's a real big miss. Uh, let's click on developers. Okay, so Urban Capital, that's like major force, but it's not an all-female force. It, it's a company with some females working, and one of these, or maybe more, are in the team that are creating this development. That's how I understand it, okay? But Urban Capital is serious. Uh, I still don't understand what Spotlight is, and I hope they will have some information about their executives or executive or... A little more if you click on collaborate okay so this is interesting this this is I like this a lot uh, Reyna's collaborative design questionnaire so basically we got a Google form here and it asks you some question and these questions now I, this is really good I really like this point because no developer is asking these questions and sadly most developers do not understand what a floor plan mean even one of the articles said that the ladies from the development do not live in a condo so Move to a condo, ladies. 
and eat your own dog food, like I do, and live in a condo until this development is finished and you handed out the last of the keys. That's, I think, what you should do because that's, to me, that's, I'm, I'm doing what I'm preaching. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. This is, this is me. Anyway, uh, what does it look, uh, what does economy kind of look like when it's inspired, designed, and executed by women? You tell us, we are asking for five minutes of your time and your brilliant or practical ideas of how condos can be provoked. Okay, this is good. Uh, again, to me, this is a gimmick um, because if you took this away and the developer would say, hey, I like some input, what's important to you? It will mean just as much to me a developer came out of the shell and say, okay, you know, I want to listen. I want to hear. So we're listening. So that's good. What would your dream amenity space have in it? Okay, this is a fantastic question because a lot of amenities like the virtual golf simulator are completely ridiculous. It's just a waste of money, of space, and of public, inter-building public space. Um, so, you know, to me personally, I like a pool with some sun, like outdoors. I I'm not big on indoor pool, but maybe some, some other people are. Um, I like a nice gym that makes sense. Most of the gyms I see are just stupid. Uh, get one of the, you know, get a couple of uh, personal trainers that work at the gyms or a couple of guys that own, guys, girls, I mean everyone, that own a gym and bring them in and say, okay, you design the gym for us because that's all you do, you make sense. So get the gym designer in there because that's a person who goes to the gym every day for 20 years. They know what works and what doesn't. What equipment, okay, so he, that, that's the question right there. What equipment features would you, okay, so that's great. Here's a party room. What would you use it for? How would you love to see it in there? I would actually add, what about this cleaning condo fees for the party room and, and the booking system for the party room? And how do I get my amenities? Okay, and, and, and all these things, to me, that's important because it's ease of use. You know, right now, most condos, they use some uh, condo, generic condo website. You need to book the thing. It doesn't work. You cannot call. This thing is like, where's my property manager after 5 p.m.? I cannot find them. Like, these are the things that really matter to me. How are you going to make my condo fees low? You know, how am I going to make more, more money in my investment? Would it make sense? Would I have light? Would you actually use uh, good quality stuff? You know, stuff like that. What, um, what would make an exterior courtyard amazing for you to use? Okay, so this is great, but I would also add, we have courtyard design. It's 2,000 square feet, and it's, you know, 20 by 20. And give me an idea of what can I work with. It's a bit of a general question. So I can come up with, you know, I would like to launch my next rocket out of that, that courtyard. I don't know I came up with that. Okay, but if you give me some, some ideas of what the courtyard is like, would it have sun, would it not have sun? Uh, is it elevated? Is it down? Which way is it facing? I can probably come up with more, better ideas for you. Uh, but overall, this is, this is a great uh, step in the right direction. And I wish every single developer would start asking this question and more. Have you ever lived in a condo before? If so, what did you feel was missing? Well, I think first of all, you should disclose each and every one of the 15 people because you say it's designed by women. Ta, 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 ta. Why don't you disclose where you live? Do you live in a house? Do you live in a condo? Do you own? Do you rent? Like, I don't, maybe it's not important, but you know, if we're making a big deal out of this is, this is women, maybe we should open it up even more. You know, we come to this because we're, unhappy with the current places we can find in the city so we have this decided not only to act all this women but to make stuff that makes sense we're going to learn from mistakes for example the new units are too narrow and the kitchen was on a long wall so i'm going to eat my dinner i look at the kitchen give me a bit more to chew on please okay nonetheless it's still good they're asking the right questions i would like them to see a bit more narrow so you can get more precise answers and more answers that will serve this specific community because it's so general generic you know what if some somebody like and, and you know online there's a lot of angry people that they hide behind monikers and anonymous accounts and uh, trolling and hating and all that stuff so narrow down the questions in my opinion could help mamas what do you struggle with in your living space when it comes to having kids what would make your life easier okay this is the best question so far, okay? It is very, very important. You know, raising a child in a condo is a whole other thing. And every inch, square inch counts. And, you know, every, everything makes sense. You know, 
what do you do in the middle of the night when you got to get up and uh, change the baby's diapers? And where do you put the bicycle when, when the kid grows? And how, how many families will come live here anyways? So if it's designed for families, maybe we should talk about this condo. Is it's a family-oriented condo? So that means the units are larger, more bedrooms, uh, different kind of amenities. You know, maybe the gym doesn't need to be that massive, but the common areas need to be. And one of the best examples of the city that, in my opinion, is probably one of the best places of families to live in a condo situation is the summit. It's 701, 705, and 725 uh, Queen, uh, King West, King and Bathurst. And uh, if you want to see more, you can look up here at the video I made about uh, King West Condo for Sale, which talks about the summit. Okay, where was I? I lost my bookmark. I'm going to start closing these tabs until we get back to that one. Urban Toronto didn't find anything. There's another, same, same. Here we go. Okay, so the mama's question to me was the best one so far because it's finally a specific question. But there was a problem, and the problem is we don't know how many families are going to buy in here. And although it's a really nice idea to think, oh yeah, everyone pregnant now will come and just as it's ready, pop the babies, and we got like a, a great baby party there, and then they go, maybe they're going to flip, maybe they did one of them buy, maybe other kind of people will buy them, maybe retirees will, I don't know. But it's good to ask. It's good to ask. Maybe there are features. Maybe you could offer uh, a family feature, like a family upgrade or a family set of finishes, you know, whatever it is. And, you know, tick here. These are things that actually make sense to me, and I'd rather have it delivered like extra closet space, okay? Uh, the closet with the wire, it's terrible. And then everybody has to come in and put them, and the, and the window coverings, and all these little things are so... Annoying that you don't get with your condo. How about I get full California closets, okay? That makes sense to me. Ah, window coverings everywhere, yeah. Uh, nice lights and more plugs for the lights because I just get the one. Every condo has one. Then you got the stupid little thing that you go here and you got to plug your light over there. That's ridiculous. On and on and on, again and again and again. Everyone's copying from, maybe it's in the building code, I don't know, but it's, it just doesn't, things don't make any sense. I don't know anyone's using these things. Everyone, what does a well-designed home have for you? Well, I would use the word condo, okay? And, and, and even before, a 500-square-foot condo is nothing like a 750, is nothing like a 1,000, is nothing like a 2,000. You get my point, okay? So it's a nice way to take it, and it, it's the right way to take it, but it's not specific enough. What in your home is the most important element to you? Kitchen, living space, but what is not important to me? Everything is important. Everything has to be the best possibly can. So, I think that coming up, excuse me, I think that coming up with all these uh, ideas is great. All these questions are great, but it's still, it's, it, to me, it just, it's just not hitting the nail proper, okay? It needs to be more specific. Uh, give more information about the development and then that's what I would do if I were your uh, person to market and then I would funnel all these people towards the specific condo. You know guys, I got 200 units. I got 101 bedrooms, 52 bedrooms and 50 towns and 3 bedrooms. Here are the sizes, here are some initial floor plans. Now give me some feedback. Okay, that's what I like to see. Nonetheless, it's a good start. Okay, register now. So I, I, I anticipate on the form here. Now, this is interesting. Um, does I, It's not asking me if I'm male or female, if I'm pregnant, if I'm a parent. It's just the usual stuff. Okay, fine. It is what it is. Overall, I'm, I'm supporting this project, uh, assuming that I saw the floor plans, I saw the design, it looks good, da 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 okay? There you go. Uh, they got an email, they got a PR person. Okay, so that's Reina Condos. Um, to summarize, we don't know anything about Reina Condos. They had a big marketing splash. To me, they wasted the opportunity and I'm sure each and every one of these ladies here and everyone else, you know, it's hundreds, if not thousands of people involved in every single project. I'm sure they're smart. 
They know what they're doing. They understand. They gotta understand design. They come from urban capital. Come on, okay. But I, my advice would be, whichever your gender is, be more specific. Provide more information. Use the opportunity that you're creating this this blitz, this media blitz you're creating, to direct and funnel your target audience to where you need it to be, because. The next time, you know, when you're going to launch and you're going to start showcasing and now you're going to go and update, uh, I'm going to close this, um, but now you're going to go and go to Urban Toronto and update and buzz, buzz and update and condos.ca and update and all these sites and update and all the, I, I, I imagine these are all the designs that, I, I, I don't think this will be it. It's probably going to be some totally different and that's my working assumption here, but I don't know it. So before you launch you know show information and i think today's buyers are very very sophisticated i think the way to win the attention the attention because this is the attention society the attention economy is all about attention is to give very good information and lots of it so much that i cannot forget about it i'm going to start fidgeting over it i'm going to look at it and go back you know give me more information okay Give me videos, give me interviews, give me site walkthrough, show me a video, and it's all about video, of course, show me a video of why you came up with this all women, how does it make any difference, and I want to see what are the men that are involved are thinking about it, you know, like, give me both sides, because urban capital is, everyone works there, right, and the rest, I don't know, but most companies will have some kind of a mix, uh, again, here. So this is not it, okay? Okay, so that was Reina Condos. We wish them good luck. We wish them all the best. Um, I very much encourage you, any one of the 15 or anyone who has to do with the project to comment, to contact me. Um, if you like to do some kind of a split screen uh, video interview on this channel, totally good. I'd love to do it. I'd love to maybe do a tour of the site uh, with the video and see what's going on. So congratulations, good luck, I hope you do well, that's it.